Hi and welcome to video 5 of the MacGyver style series. In this video I will show you how to make a potato powered clock that's powered by these two potatoes here and uh, I'll show you how to do it so that you won't need the battery anymore which is already in the clock. So step one I will start by cutting these potatoes in half with my Swiss Army knife. That's right, you always need to cut your potatoes in half. So I'll be doing that. Okay, next I'm going to lay them all vertically. Okay, so by the time you're finished, you should have something like this. These four potatoes that are cut in half, they're actually two potatoes, but these pieces are going to be your battery that will later power this clock. And uh, the materials you need are basically this simple. Two potatoes cut up into quarters and a battery powered clock powered by a AAA battery. If you get the, the kind of clock that is powered by the button cells they will not work because you cannot connect the leads to a button cell. And uh, you will also need these kinds of wires. You can find them at Radio Shack but they're called leads and I'll show you right now what they are these. And you will also need copper sticks. Just buy a, a long uh, a long piece of copper wire at Home Depot and then you can cut it with tin snips. And you also need what they call galvanized nails. What galvanized nails are, they are zinc coated nails. Now zinc coated nails are the only kind that can conduct electricity because the other kinds will not do it properly and it will not work. So if you're buying materials for this project, make sure you get zinc coated nails, which are called galvanized nails. Let's begin. First, we will insert a galvanized nail. And a piece of copper wire, copper wire, into each potato. So you have a sink nail and copper wire in each potato. Make sure you press it all the way in there. While I'm doing this, I'm going to explain a little bit. The copper wire is basically your positive lead in, the, in your potato powered battery, in your potato battery. And the, the zinc nail is your negative lead. So like in a battery, you have a positive and a negative lead. Just inserting a copper wire, a piece of copper wire, and a zinc nail into each piece of your potato. Okay. 
Now, when you finished, you should have something that looks like this. Next, I'm going to take my clock and I'm going to take out the battery so that I can hook up my potato battery to it. Right now it's this 447. So I'm going to take out the battery. See, it's using a AAA battery. I'm going to take that out. No battery. Okay, the clock is off. So no tricks. Next, I'm going to take one of my leads. Whoops. I'm going to take one of my leads and connect it from the positive, which is the copper wire. I'm going to connect it from the positive. And it, in my clock, it's going to go to the positive end terminal, which is the plus side. There's one negative side, and there's also a plus side. So the plus side would be on the left. Let me stable my camera a little bit. I'm using a little tripod. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use a little paper clip to extend the positive side because there's no way to clip on my lead and I'm going to clip that my lead this is coming from the potato clock from the potato battery and I'm going to clip it onto the paper clip on the left which is the positive side next I'm going to take another lead and I'm going to take it from a negative side from a negative terminal which is the sink nail and I'm going to connect that to the negative terminal on my clock so I have completed this many steps this far this is a little tricky part a, a tricky part so bear with me here I have connected positive and negative to my clock and positive negative to my potatoes next I will have to connect these potatoes together in order to draw enough power to power my clock so I will connect a potato from a negative to a positive on each potato so that they are all interconnected so copper goes to zinc and zinc goes to copper and etc I'm going to have to use a different kind of wire to connect this one, but it's the same. Just copper wire. Okay, I have finished. Now take a look at my clock. It is now turned on at 1 o'clock, powered by nothing but these two, these two potatoes. Now the wires I've basically connected positive and negative. Negative is the nail, the zinc nail, galvanized nail, and positive is the copper wire. So all you have to do is nail, connect nail to copper wire, copper wire to nail nail to copper wire and then there you have two remaining one copper wire one nail and all you have to do is bring the nail connection to the negative side of your clock and your copper wire to the positive side of your clock and once you have done that you will have successfully powered your clock it takes two full potatoes to power a triple a battery clock because one uh, two potatoes are equal to about let's say three quarters of a triple A battery now that's a potato powered clock for you 
So uh, then now I can I can even set this thing. See, I can even uh, press mode here and I can set it and stuff. But just to show you one more time, there's nothing in the back here. So join us again next time on MacGyver.